Today, regulators from the Food and Drug Administration will consider a potentially safer alternative to cigarettes. Philip Morris International, that's a maker of Marlboro and other top brands, wants the FDA to approve a new tobacco device. It's called Icos. The company says the pen-like product creates an aerosol that's like less toxic than cigarette smoke and poses less risk of disease. Smoking is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the U.S. Tony DeCopel recently went to Toronto, Canada, where ICOS is already available to learn about the product and the science behind it. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we should point out that unlike an e-cigarette, which uses a liquid containing nicotine, ICOS uses sticks of real tobacco, warming them to below the temperature that produces smoke. That, according to Philip Morris, can save lives. But critics worry the primary goal is profit as traditional cigarette sales dry up. Not far from Niagara Falls. All right, here we go. We're on our way to Canada. On a hip street in Toronto, Philip Morris is building what it says is the future of tobacco. Hi, I'm Tony. This is an Icos boutique. One of many now open in about 30 countries where Philip Morris promises to quit traditional cigarettes and sell Icos instead. It totally looks like a spa, like you're not even in a tobacco shop. Philip Morris International and its U.S. partner Altria did not accept our request for an interview or a demonstration of Icos. It took me a, a little bit of time to like switch over, but after now, like, I hate cigarettes. So we came here to Toronto to experience the sales process ourselves. Over the sound of a noisy espresso machine, we heard Icos pitched as a cleaner alternative to traditional cigarettes. So what's in this is literally just tobacco and nicotine. In a statement to CBS this morning, Philip Morris International said, our goal is to convert every adult smoker who would otherwise keep smoking to smoke-free products such as Icos. We are also clear that Icos is not risk-free. What Philip Morris does argue in its FDA application is that if smokers converted to Icos, it would significantly reduce harm and the risk of tobacco-related disease. Nicotine is what gets people hooked. But USC professor Adam Leventhal worries Icos might actually drive people back to cigarettes. What concerns me, I think, is that this looks like a cigarette. It reminds you of a cigarette. And we know if you get reminded of, of, of cigarettes and you're trying to quit, it's a high-risk situation. It makes you want to go back to smoking. Mm. Leventhal is an expert on smoking and public health. We better turn this off. I'm worried about my... You're genuinely worried? Yeah. All right, there we go. Hmm. <coughs> oh. There you go. The American Cancer Society cautions most of the research on ICOS has been funded by Philip Morris. A recent independent study concluded that the physical effects of ICOS on users are not yet known. On the continuum, right? Oh, you have air here. <laughs> Over here you have some sort of toxic gas. And then you have cigarettes, then probably somewhere in the middle heat not burn products like, like the Icos, and then somewhere down here, electronic cigarettes potentially. Philip Morris says it welcomes independent studies and encourages third parties to conduct their own research on smoke-free products and to verify our science. Some American smokers, like Indiana resident Amy Lane, aren't waiting for the FDA to rule on ICOS. What I knew back then in 2013 was that tobacco combusted cigarettes were absolutely going to kill me. After smoking for 22 years, she's now a seller of e-cigarettes and a smoke-free advocate who makes special trips to London to get ICOS for personal use. And so when you ask about, well, what happens with Philip Morris, you know, they've lied in the past, of course they have. But what happens to my body, how I feel compared to when I was smoking combustible cigarettes, there is no question that I feel 100 percent better. The FDA's preliminary review of ICOS found fewer harmful chemicals but incomplete information regarding tobacco-related disease. Philip Morris has two separate applications before the FDA. Today's issue involves whether ICOS can be marketed as a reduced-harm product. The other application is for basic sales, and Wall Street expects that to be approved as soon as next month. Mm -hmm. I know, it's sort of interesting to look at it because it looks so much like a cigarette. My mother died of, I believe, heavy smoking from a heart attack. So when I see it, I'm thinking, what can we do to just reduce it all together? So yeah, the, if the claims being made before the FDA are accurate, this stands to save millions of lives. But that so. is an if that researchers yeah. are looking at closely. Thank right. you, Tony. Thanks Thank you very much. Sorry.